Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. In this episode we'll be reviewing the Pico Div SD by Zaxxon. <laughs> So what is the Pico Div SD? Well it's a low cost SD card device for the Sinclair Spectrum and some compatibles. It works with the 48K all the way through the range to the 128K and some Russian clones and it takes a micro SD card. It's super easy to use. It's very cheap so it means that it doesn't have a joystick port and it doesn't have a reset button and it doesn't have a through connector but what it does have is the ability to load things very very quickly and very easily indeed. This is ideal for uh, 128K machines which have joystick ports built in. It really then does provide pretty much anything that anyone would need. It runs on ESX DOS um, therefore it supports lots of formats but not currently TZX. These jumpers here are to allow you to change the configuration for it to work on multiple versions of the machine. If you don't know the edge connector on the plus two grey was then changed by Amstrad on the plus twos that were black, the black plus two, and then afterwards the plus three with the disk drive. So um, they're not edge compatible. Um, this allows you to change that so that it actually works. And um, I'm not gonna go into what jumper does what because that's beyond the scope of this video and it's in the documentation. Because I'm essentially lazy, I'm gonna be using this on a 48K machine just to show you how it works. Um, don't really have time to get a 1 to 8K machine out, but we'll use this one anyway. Now, fit to the machine is pretty good. In fact, I struggled to get it off of the machine earlier. So, let's pop that in the back like this. The edge connectors really are very, very firm indeed, so you want to make sure you've got it lined up. And there we go. And that is not going anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Look. I'm lifting my spectrum up by it. It's not coming off. You know, and we're not talking borderline there. That's not coming off. So, next thing we do is we will power her up. Upon power up, upon power up, you can see it detects the SD devices and mounts them as drives depending on their type and drops us to the Sinclair Research um, prompt. Now, if we press the NMI button, it takes us to the root of the SD card. We're all pretty familiar territory here. Now, down goes down, which is number six. Up goes up, which is number seven. A left and right switches between pages, which are five and eight. So if you've got many pages of um, listings, you can switch from one page to the next. A bit like skipping a page at a time. So we are going to go to Games and press Enter. That takes us into the Games folder. And please exceed, um, exceed please uh, pay no attention to the My Taps folder I was mucking around earlier. Uh, we'll go to Tap, most people use Tap. And again, we'll ignore the 128K folder and we'll go down to, uh, let's see, how about Boulder Dash actually? And press enter. Boulder Dash by First Star Software. Okay, press enter. Uh, I can never remember the, uh, the keyboard controls for this, but I think that we'll have a go anyway. So press fire to continue, which is zero, I think. Lovely bit of beeper music. And you see how fast it loaded, so we're not actually waiting for anything here apart from me. Press fire to play. To zero again. I can't remember what fire does actually on Boulder Dash. I am playing around the camera here, so please do forgive me. Okay. See what keys go up and down. There we are, and that's down. Right, good. That's a spicy meatball. X and C. Right, so first one. Woohoo! 
Can't remember if these randomly generated every level. Can't remember. Tear diamond. There's diamond over here if I recall correctly. Uh, no, there isn't. Now I'm going to die. Haha, -ha, dodge that diamond. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, it goes to show I'm a bit shocking at this game. But uh, yeah, so um, this is a really good budget SD device. Um, I can't actually believe it's as low cost as it is because it does pretty much everything you need apart from the joystick. Um, there's no reset button as well, but to be honest, I'm uh, sure you can just pull the bloody uh, cable out. But if you're on um, a plus two or a plus three, and you've got a joystick port anyway, then you don't need that joystick functionality, and this will literally do what you want. You can also um, attach a sort of a virtual tape device by using the dot tape in command with a file name and you can save and load um, to that rather than using the NMI menu. You can also <coughs> take a snapshot. So we're here now and what I'm going to do is I am going to take a snapshot of where I am currently in the game. Okay, but I'm just going to have to do a jump cut. Okay, so um, jump cut over. Um, you can see it's going to be pretty useless, this snapshot, because we're running out of time and we haven't moved yet. But um, I'm just going to show you what happens. You press the NMI button, and that takes you into the NMI menu. Now, whilst we're here, we can press the snapshot button, which is simply S. And that will automatically create a, a .sna file with the name snap 0000 four zeros and the next one it'll increment to one to two to three now this um, reinitializes back to the four zeros every time you restart the machine so we can see here that we've saved the snapshot okay so we've actually created a snapshot of the state of this machine as it stands in that game so say you get to Skylab in Manic Miner you'll be able to stop at the beginning and it's cheating but it means you don't have to get all the way there over and over again um, if you get it popping up on the screen with an error 18, that's because the file already exists if you've restarted the whole machine. So just try again until you get past that. Okay, the error 18 means it can't overwrite the file. Um, there's quite a few other little things you can do in here. So although there's no reset button on the machine, pardon me, you can do a warm reset in the menu by pressing R. And because you've done a warm reset and the tape device was selected, if you go load, enter, it will load up Boulder Dash again because that virtual tape is still connected as far as the unit's concerned. Um, if you're in NMI mode and say you've done a snapshot, you're like, well, how do I get out? What do I do? Do I have to pull the power? There's no reset button. Simply press the space and space will take you out of there. Um, there's a couple of other bits you can do. Um, if you want to go to the parent directory, you can press the one key. Um, and I think there's even on-screen help if you press H. Let's try that. Yeah, on-screen help. So it really is very full-featured. Um, the only thing is it doesn't support TZX files, and that's because they're quite an exotic format, um, meaning that they take quite a lot of CPU power to decode. So maybe that will happen in the future. Um, in future revisions of the hardware, but from what I've heard from developers of the hardware, it might not actually be possible on um, the current hardware. So, um, yeah. What do I think of this machine? Um, I think it's absolutely awesome. For the price, which I'm not going to mention because in case it changes, it dates the video, um, but if you look on the link below, you'll find out. For the price, I can't believe it sold for this price. I think Zaxxon's absolutely crazy for selling it for this price, but at the same time, I'm glad he does because, as we know, tapes are dying. Um, and even if you've got a working tape, it's probably not a good idea to take a working tape and play it because of dropout and sticky shed syndrome and all those nasty things that happen to collectible tapes. So, um, yeah, um, I highly, highly recommend this, especially if you've got a plus two, plus three machine with a joystick port. It's everything you need. Um, even the missing reset button, again, in the NMI menu, um, you can just press the space and come straight out. So, um, 
Not a lot else to say, apart from this is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff, signing out. Um, hoping you do subscribe to get your fix, and I'll see you all in the next exciting episode. Bye!